Right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are back on the 2021 Panigale V4S. You might have seen um, recently my first ride video that I did on this bike. Uh, and I did a, a quick sort of uh, 40 minute ride, but I was still recovering from tonsillitis. The weather was cold and it wasn't great. But look at it this morning. So we're actually going to do our traditional first ride video out to uh, sunny Skeg Vegas or Skegness for anyone who doesn't know uh, which is a coastal town in Lincolnshire which is where I traditionally do my sort of first running in ride on the bike so like I said I was a bit poorly on the uh, first one so we'll not count that so this is the real first ride just look at it well let's go I'm finally feeling a bit better. Big, uh, big part of tonsillitis kicked in, which was uh, made me feel like I was uh, poorly like a kid again. I hadn't had that for years. It actually knocked me on my ass real bad. Uh, a few days off work, and I tried to get out for a bit yesterday and do this first ride, but I knew as soon as I got on the bike, I had like zero energy. I felt like a little baby trying to move the bike around, so I just went for a little local cruise. Because like it was just killing me not riding the bike. I wanted some fresh air. So that was what the first ride video that you saw was. But this is my sort of traditional first ride video where uh, I head out to um, Skeg Vegas, baby. <laughs> the seaside mecca of the East Coast. Anybody from the UK uh, will know Skeg Vegas is infamous for... What is it infamous for? I don't know. <laughs> you Google it, mate. Google it. Um, no, it's just a traditional sort of, you know, cheap and tacky seaside town. Um, <laughs> but it's a really nice run out there. You go through like like some fast country roads like we're on now. Uh, lots of twisties. We get to the seaside. Um, it's really pleasant. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, what I'll do, I'll probably just show you some highlights of the ride out there and I'll catch up with you when I get there and just give you a bit more of a detailed view of this. I'm still running it in. Again, I've got to do under 6,000 RPM for the first 600 miles, uh, which is about 80, so it's okay, it's just cruising. Um, but you can still have a lot of fun with this bike, even just going up to 6,000 RPM. Um, so I'll give you a few more like detailed thoughts and uh, kind of a review really, a, a sort of mini ownership review I guess when we get to Skeggy as they call it um, and let you know what I think about it but I think you can tell by my first ride video my initial impressions of owning this are just absolutely uh, over the moon with it um, yeah let's uh, let's have a ride out to Skeggy uh, and we'll catch you up a bit more when we get there I'll show you some of the scenery and some of the roads out there it's a pretty good ride catch you in a bit Check in, we're about 50 minutes in, probably about another, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes to go to get there, something like that. Some great roads, uh, and I see, creeping up to an hour in, not too bad on the wrists, not too bad on the bike. I'm not going to say it's a, uh, it's a super naked, but I'm basically pleasantly surprised by how comfortable it is when I first when you first sit on it and you feel how aggressive it is you're like oh my god this is gonna be a nightmare but it's actually really not 
was actually pretty comfy. Um, so yeah, we've been on some pretty decent roads so far, mainly sort of fast stuff, but I know as we get closer into uh, Skeg Vegas, we'll get some more twisty stuff. But these have been fast sweepers so far, dual carriageways. Uh, the bike just feels amazing. Uh, that's my update really. So we're just coming into Rugby now. Anybody who knows the area, people from Rugby, come say hi. <laughs> I'll check back in uh, later on as we get a bit closer. Do a bit more riding now. Nice that uh, Ben's coming up here, I think, if I remember rightly. Tint advised as well, like in Norman. Steaming up. Oh my god, it just sits in these bends, so beautiful. Unless she wants to tip in too quickly, so sometimes. It's just catching me out. You always catch a car mid-bend, don't you? Always. Fucking hell. the revs I'm still running it in getting a bit too giddy oh it turns beautiful so much confidence and grit oh I love this thing <laughs> oh, that's interesting I have fuel lights on so that's done about 98 Probably going about 90 miles on a full tank, which is pathetic. Uh, I'm in the middle of nowhere, so we need to back it off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ninety, yeah, about 90 miles, I, I estimate that's done. <laughs> yeah, because it came seven, yeah. Yeah, 90 miles on a tank. <laughs> oh please, please baby tell me you're open. Bullwinkle's garage. No way. Closed on Sundays. Fucking hell. Well, I guess we're going to see how far we can go on the uh, reserve tank. see petrol oh, hallelujah right so well I have five miles on the reserve tank so far about 100 miles in a full tank of fuel oh come on no 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 you can't be kidding me are you fucking serious Oh, Back that way. A shell. Looks like there's a shell. Holy fucking Louia. Crikey Moses. 
I was so lucky. Christ, it's averted. Yes, in all seriousness, that nearly caught me out then. <laughs> I had totally forgot, A, I didn't have a fuel gauge, and B, what a pathetic amount of fuel this thing holds. I've just filled this up now, and it's like 12 litres. <laughs> so if I'm caning this, you've got to think, what, best part of 80 miles? That is utter garbage. All right, I forgive you, Ducati. You're naughty, and that's a very bad personality trait you've got there. But I forgive you. Welcome to the wonderful Skegness. Legend has it, twinned with Beverly Hills, California, and Venice, Italy. <laughs> I love it here, just reminds me of being a kid. Look at some of these hotels here. You have to literally pay me to stay in some of these. <laughs> Got all these arcades here, you just bring the kids here. To be fair, the kids love it here. Get down onto the beach. Uh, go down there and get onto the beach. Down that way. I'm gonna go and park up here because there's a little quiet spot. I just wanna go and have a sit down and a wee. Uh, I might get coffee in a bit from McDonald's. But this is Skegness. Charming little seaside town. Good little run out here though. So what I'm going to do is um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll park up and we'll just uh, I'll have a chat and I'll run you through some of the things that I've learned about this bike uh, on this sort of, sort of first real ride, first decent run I've had on this. Um, we're going to park up. I did the same thing on the ZX6R when I got that, so I'll go and park up in my little spot and we'll have a chat about it. What's up everybody? Don't worry, I haven't fallen off. I've just parked up at the uh, coast. Uh, I just thought I'd walk up here and just show you this. For all the mickey I take out of Skegness for being a bit of a dump. Um, look around me now. It's really nice. I haven't been to the seaside in ages with lockdown and uh, everything else. I just wanted to pull up and just uh, give you sort of my longer longer run thoughts now on the Ducati. Like I said, the first ride, um, first ride I did uh, that you've probably seen already, if not look up here, I'd got tonsillitis and I was really poorly. And I just had a quick sort of 45 minutes because the 
temptation of being sat in the garage and not being used got the better of me um, but I've just come on a longer run now I've done about 100 or so miles uh, and I just wanted to give you some of my uh, updated thoughts on it really um, a lot of you are asking me for details about it it's just phenomenal um, it's better than I expected my my yardstick about this bike was based on the 2020 model um, which I test rode a couple of times actually um, and this is just better in lots of different ways it sounds nicer it feels smoother i don't know if i've got it set up now and i've been messing around with the settings to get it how i want it but it feels a bit smoother the throttle feels better i've got it in um high power dynamic uh, mode and i've got it in sport setting with a medium engine braking and that for me feels really really nice um i've just done 100 or so miles out here and my wrists are fine my back's not aching my knees are good on the Aprilia, I would have been in bits. So that's um, that's testament. Actually, this is actually bizarrely quite a comfortable bike. Um, so, what else do I need to tell you about it? It handles. It just. I used the word before, but it handles. It's almost telepathic. Um, it just drops into bends in such a nice way. And look at the tyres. I mean, talk about the chicken strip. You know, the chicken strip on these at the minute is massive. It's quite embarrassing, but... Um, yeah, the brakes, are, the brakes are phenomenal as well. I've had to hanker on a couple of times on the brakes, and they're brilliant. I'm not feeling any problems with the heat as much as I did on the 2020 model. I don't know, again, that's just me. I've, I've, I haven't really been stop-start, but the heat doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, trying to think what else. The power's just unreal. Um... Again, you know, I'm not opening it up at all yet, but, um, oh, <laughs> so, one negative, whoa, 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 oh, no, nearly, <laughs> the dog just nearly weed on my helmet, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll cut that in the bloopers, uh, but one thing I've just noticed as well, I, I filled it with petrol yesterday, reset the, um, timer, at the, the trip, the trip meter, and the fucking petrol light came on. I've done like less than 100 miles. The petrol tank is tragic. Um, <laughs> but whatever, I forgive it. So I need to I need to remember that. Um, that's the, the, the problem of not having a fuel gauge. You just sort of get wrapped up in the moment driving around and forget all about that you've actually got no bloody petrol. The light came on. I was in the middle of Skeg, Skeg Nowhere. The two petrol stations that I passed were shut. And then I finally dropped on a Shell garage, thank God. So I think I'd done about eight, nine miles on the uh, reserve tank as well, so that's good to know. Um, but look, I love it, you know, the, the, it's, uh, there's not much of an update really, um, other than the fuel tank's garbage. It's exactly the same as what I thought. Every time I get on it, I mean, it's just like, it, it makes me, my, uh, all the hairs on the back of my neck stand up, which sounds a bit weird, but, um, <sighs> Just so lucky. I just feel so lucky to be able to have something like this. And one thing's for sure, you definitely do not need um, loud exhaust on this. It's very loud as it is, like really loud. I know people will buy one and I'm still considering it, but it's not something that I'm rushing to the shops to buy now because it's irritating. It's pleasant, it's a really pleasant noise. Um, certainly these low down revs are up to sort of 6,000. Um, that, that's definitely a difference with the 20 model. I don't know how they've managed that with the Euro 5, but still. But anyway, look, yeah, just a, uh, a, a, a warm up uh, run in ride up to Skegness. Um, something that I always do on the channel and I just thought I'd give you a bit of updated thoughts on the bike um yeah thanks for watching I'm gonna go and chill out a bit and uh, make the most of not having any screaming kids around <laughs> so look uh thanks for watching uh, much appreciated if you like the video if you hit the like button and subscribe um if you want to consider looking and following my Patreon, links on the channel now. There's a lot of updated behind the scenes content there that you won't see for the Ducati and my other bikes. Uh, and there's also on one of the tiers a chance to win a um, track day 
fully paid for by me or off-road day uh, track or off-road venue of your choice um just uh, go over to patreon now and uh, it'll tell you where how to get involved so yeah thanks for watching much appreciated and i'll see you on the next one